Hi guys, uh, here we are in the new Swing Studio at Pupils Golf Club and what I want to discuss is probably uh, towards a lot of any level of golfer who struggles with the mental side of the game. So, you know, a good score towards the end of your round, you're playing maybe one in a competition or a, an open competition and you're struggling towards the end of your round. So let's say you're, you're on your best score, your personal best score and you're struggling to find a swing thought to s stick to and adhere to. So many errors can occur from you thinking about too many different swing thoughts. You have a bad shot, you think about the technical aspect of it. I would suggest when you're on the golf course, leave the technical aspect aside on the range. Only have one, th have one swing thought for each club, and that is probably directly the same for every shot that I play regarding trajectory, flight, curvature, and l l the landing zone and run out. So it's kind of it's not too dissimilar to that. So there was one, there was one fall that I learned from a good, good old chap called Harvey Pennock, and what he said was, when you're struggling with your, your round of golf, take always think about positive. Don't think about negativity. When you think about negative thoughts, then that's where you're going to doubt yourself, and you're going to hit poor shots. So this, you might not be accustomed to this swing thought, but the swing thought that I'm going to recommend today is what I use is focus on taking dead aim. So that's, I'm not trying to insinuate do you take dead aim every shot, that's just trying to get in the process of thinking I'm going to take dead aim here because if I take dead aim here I'm going to hit the best possible shot. So if I think about positive thoughts then negative thoughts are left behind. So if I think about positive shots, so let's say I'm going for the red flag, it's quite hard to see in the distance there because the camera's not, the camera angle's not there. But let's say I was to take dead aim. So if I'm taking dead aim, I'm focusing on that target. So in order for me to hit the shot correctly, I've got to swing along the target and take dead aim. So if I take, think about taking dead aim, I will commit to the shot. There's none of this where I'm coming out the shot early or I'm not fully rotating through impact. So try, try that swing thought. So take dead aim, I'll hit the shot. Because it gives you a feeling and a sensation of getting through impact so if I get through impact by taking dead aim, so in order for me to hit the shot, I've got to accelerate. So there's none of this where you're struggling towards any around and you're, you're, we all get anxiety, we all get tension in our swing, we all feel um, a bit of tension throughout the game. So we get to this position, then we kind of throw the arms at it, so we get this, and then we kind of throw the arms at it, and my shoulders haven't really rotated, they're pointing to the right, so they're slightly open. So taking dead aim, so take dead aim. I'm trying to focus on releasing my arms through impact, so my shoulders aren't open, my hands aren't in this high right position, my hands are finished low and left by taking dead aim. So I'll get another shot, so take dead aim, focus on that target in front of me, and release that club over that target. You get into a better habit of, and you'll understand these thoughts that are negative will be washed away and positive thoughts will come prevail in your game. So just think about that one swing thought, take, take dead aim. It was, a, it was recommended by Harvey Pennock and it's a great swing thought to relate to if you're struggling. So if you've got any thoughts, let me know and all my other social media platforms are attached below. If you feel that you like my content, subscribe to my channel at Jamie Golf Performing, two social media platforms, Twitter and Facebook. Thank you.